Once you create artwork in Illustrator, you'll inevitably need to edit it. Using the artwork in this practice file, you'll select and move anchor points on paths using the direct selection tool, and then you'll learn how to reshape paths, and then edit paths with the curvature tool. You'll start by selecting and editing this circle. So select the zoom tool in the tools panel on the left so you can zoom into it, and drag across the circle shape. If you want to resize or rotate or otherwise transform a shape like the circle, you would select it with the selection tool in the tools panel. Now to see and edit the anchor points for a path, select the direct selection tool in the tools panel on the left, and then click the edge of the circle. The anchor points that make up the shape will appear. You'll learn about the parts of the path in the first video in this section, Understanding Paths and Curves. Click one of the anchor points and move the pointer away. You can tell an anchor point is selected because it's filled with a color. Then move the pointer back over that anchor point and drag it to see how it affects the shape. You can try that for any of the points in the shape. Now you'll work on paths at the top of the artboard. At times you'll need to pan and zoom in a document to work on different parts. To do that, you'll access the hand tool. So press the space bar, drag in the document window, and pan across to see the top of the guitar at the top of the artboard. Then release the space bar. If you need to zoom out a little bit, you can choose View, Zoom Out. Now the direct selection tool can also select and adjust paths. So move the pointer over a path and click to select it. With the pointer over the path, you'll see this curved arrow, which means you can reshape the path by dragging. So drag this curved path to try to reshape it. Now you'll move to another part of the artwork and see how dragging a straight path works. Press the space bar to access the hand tool again. Drag in the document window so you can see the path with the straight line down here. Then release the space bar. Move the pointer over the edge of this shape and click to select it. Like the path above, you can drag the curved parts of this path to reshape them as well. But move the pointer over this straight path, drag the path, and notice that it moves as a straight line. This method moves the path instead of reshaping it since it's not curved. Drag that path up just a little bit to reshape it. Now you'll go back up to the top of the guitar to start editing with the curvature tool. So press the space bar to access the hand tool, Drag in the document window to pan to the top of the guitar, then release the spacebar. If you find yourself with a path or shape that needs editing, and moving anchor points or reshaping paths isn't enough, you can create, delete, and edit anchor points using the Curvature tool. Select the Curvature tool in the Tools panel on the left. Then click on this path to select it, and you'll see the anchor points for this path. Now to convert a path from a curve to a straight line or the other way around, you can double click an existing anchor point with the curvature tool. So move the pointer over this anchor point and double click to make the paths straight. To completely change the shape of the path, like in this area, you can even add or delete anchor points. Move the pointer over the edge of the path and when a plus appears, click to add a new anchor point. Try dragging that anchor point to reshape the path. When you're finished, Move the pointer down the path a bit and add another anchor point by clicking. Drag that new anchor point to reshape the path. To deselect everything, choose Select, Deselect. And then to see all the artwork, choose View, Fit Artboard and Window. Now that you know some methods for editing paths, you'll be able to make changes to paths in your own artwork, whether it's fine-tuning a logo design or editing artwork for signage, and a whole lot more.